to News 8's Kevin Hoy is joining us with a look at what happened on this day in history. Well, on November 12, 1892, Will William Heffelfinger became the first professional football player as he suited up for the Allegheny Athletic Association team. Heffelfinger, okay. Heffelfinger, easy enough to say, huh? At the time, football was an amateur sport, but teams would get around paying players by giving them expensive trophies and watches or offering extra money for expenses. That was until Heffelfinger accepted $500 to play for Allegheny against the Pittsburgh Athletic Club. Heffelfinger scored the game's only touchdown on a fumble recovery as Allegheny won 4-0. to zero. That mm. sounds like a good investment. Th yeah, $500. You know, they, won, they won the game. They did. And that's actually $12,000 <laughs> if you look oh, at inflation. You... Really? So that's quite a bit that's, of money. Yeah, that's not but bad. But they won. On this day in 1954, the Ellis Island Immigration Center closed after processing more than 20 million immigrants. Ellis Island opened in 1892 as the first federally operated immigration station in America. Before then, it was on the states to regulate immigration. The island was made uh, part of the Statue of Liberty Monument in 1965 and has hosted a museum of immigration since 1990. It's believed that 40% of Americans can trace at least one of their ancestors to Ellis Island. Mm. On this day in 1980, the NASA Space Probe Voyager uh, Voyager 1, sorry, made its closest approach to Saturn and took the first images of the planet's rings. Before the trip, it was believed that Saturn had three or four major rings, but Voyager sailed beneath the rings to discover that they actually consisted of hundreds of ringlets. Scientists believe Voyager 1 is still on its journey of, uh, in outer space. It is now believed to be nearly 12 billion miles from Earth. We'd have to wait another 40,000 years, though, for the Voyager to reach the stars. Oh, okay. Well. And moving back <laughs> to 80 years from today, that's when the first picture of the Loch Ness Monster was taken. You can clearly see it Oh, there. yes. A Scotsman was walking along Loch Ness after church when he snapped several pictures of a massive creature in the water. The only problem is only one of them turned out. Um, Sounds like a sad story Looks there. like an eel, doesn't it? Yeah, that's know. of course the one you're looking at. If you can't tell, it clearly shows a long <laughs> tail and a thick body. Clearly. I mean, I mean, what else would it be? Yeah. Mm. It couldn't be like a log or anything. It could or... be a wave. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that looks, that looks uh, suspiciously like a wave. Yeah. Yeah. But the ripples, I'm sure, are from it like flapping or something, you know? <laughs> right. Well, you can find more on This Day in History on our morning show website. Just head to news8000.com and click on the News 8 This Morning link under the News tab. You'll find today's On This Day collection right there.